Why do artists defend bad software? In my years using various 3D animation software, I've found a disturbing trend among artists that I think is holding back software development. I've noticed that the vast majority of times when someone brings up a problem with graphic software, no matter how well founded, the commenter is personally attacked instead of addressing the glaring issues with the software. The comments tend to fall into a few specific lines of attack. The most obvious is that anyone who points out a bug or flaw in the software must be a bad artist. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. The flaw in the software still remains no matter what you think of the artistic capabilities of the commenter. Another common spin tactic is RTFM, read the fucking manual. I did, it didn't mention how badly Im implemented morph targets are in Maya. Flaws by their very nature are either not mentioned or glossed over in the official documentation and websites of your favorite software. RTFM is a classic deflection technique. It solves nothing. So why does this happen? It takes a long time to learn most software, but 3D animation software is possibly the most complex on the planet. Once an artist has committed to a piece of software, it is in some ways like a marriage. Once an artist has sunk a significant amount of time into learning one piece of software, it can feel very threatening when someone points out an obvious flaw. It can feel like all that time was spent in vain. Also, if you have worked in CGI for a while, you've probably seen at least a few software packages lose relevance, like Lightwave, or die completely, like Soft Image. Also, many artists or small companies have invested all they can afford into specific uh, software platforms. When a flaw is found, it might seem like the first crack in a dike ready for it to burst. One thing many artists dread is the thought of learning new software. Any information that might make that a necessity must be shut down quickly. What can be done about this? As I mentioned earlier, people actually have an emotional attachment to their software, if only by virtue of the fact that learning new software could be costly and time consuming. When you point out a problem with CG software, expect blowback, but don't back down, as long as your views are supported by provable evidence. Being critical and objective about even your most beloved piece of software is essential for driving innovation and fixing existing problems. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe.